Alright guys, here with Melly at week five. How are you doing today, Mel? I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. That has been the topic of conversation this morning. Um, how was your week this week? Um, it was not great. What was not great? Uh, I didn't follow my plan. And, uh, yes disappointed in the week based on the fact that you didn't follow your plan or what are you disappointed in uh, yeah that I didn't follow my plan that I didn't yeah I didn't follow it yeah <laughs> did you refer to it at all did you once <laughs> on about Tuesday and then after that it sort of went downhill is there any reason why it went downhill from there uh, some things happened I use those, I guess, as excuses. What sort of things happen? <laughs> um, well, I did my personal challenge. <laughs> Don't sound so excited about it. <laughs> and, yeah, and then just some other things happened. So. This is the personal challenge that we told everyone about a couple of weeks ago? Yep. Yep. And it's made you feel good or it's made you feel bad? Uh, a bit of both. Okay. So when you say you used it as an excuse not to do, I guess, what you'd planned to do? Yeah. That's what, right. <laughs> what, explain that, so. Well, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. I just, I was a bit upset about what had happened throughout the week, and I guess that I used that way that it made me feel to not go to the gym and not follow my plan and just stick with feeling sorry with yourself rather than doing something for yourself yes yep and how does that make you feel now I mean you said you feel a bit disappointed about it I mean I'm disappointed <laughs> yep which is a good feeling or a shit feeling for you it's a pretty shitty feeling <laughs> yep and you find that you tend to eat well or train well when you feel disappointed or the opposite the opposite. So how are we going to change that? <laughs> Stick to my plan. <laughs> yeah, regardless of how you feel? Yeah. You think that would help? Probably. Probably, or <laughs> have you ever tried it that way around? Well, I thought I tried <laughs> on Wednesday, but obviously I didn't try hard enough. In terms of what? Trying to still go to the gym even though I had no motivation to be there. Yeah, and you did? Yeah, but it wasn't a successful session, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, we all have shitty sessions sometimes, but the fact that you got here was a, a commitment to taking the right action still, yeah? Yeah. Even if it was a crap session, you still feel okay about that or not? No, not really. No. Alright, so we need to work on that still, yeah? Yeah. Because getting here is one part, I guess, for you, but obviously still feeling like you have a good workout is still something that's important to you, which I like, I think that's good. But you can't persecute yourself too much because getting here was a step closer to what you want to be doing rather than what you used to do, yeah? Yes. So can we feel half good about that? I suppose. Don't overdo <laughs> it. Yes, yeah, so like a little bit. Okay. Um, how are you feeling on the whole, I guess, now that we're nearing the halfway mark of at least this 12-week commitment? Disappointed. Yeah, explain that. I'm halfway, and I'm not where I thought I would be, so... In terms of weight loss, in terms of change of routine, mentally... Everything. Yeah? The whole package. How are we going to move forward from this then, I guess? Are we going to stay here feeling disappointed, <laughs> or...? No. I'm, you sure? Well, I don't want to. You sure? <laughs> yes. You definitely don't want to? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Good. You said it on camera now. <laughs> um, I guess we'll explain. What have we committed to this week to make sure that you don't feel disappointed? Um, what three things have we committed to this week? <sighs> Come on. 
<laughs> Sticking to the plan, 100% was the first one. Yeah. So regardless of how you're feeling, whether you're unmotivated, disappointed, feeling shitty, that we're sticking to the food plan? Yeah. 100%, yeah. And part of the yes. food plan is having contingencies in place as well. So if you can't do something, there's other options there, yeah? Yeah. Uh, exercise every single day? Yeah. Starting when? Today. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to make an excuse not to come into the gym today? No. Yeah. And if you do, what do I get to do? Slap me. All right. <laughs> hopefully on camera too (laughs) Uh, and the last one I guess is personal but you're how will we explain it you're committing to concentrating more on you this week yeah and not letting anybody else affect that would that be a good way to explain it yeah all right and it's a non-negotiable yeah (laughs) yes Adam (laughs) (laughs) yes dad Uh, it's for you Saturday to Saturday. So guys, hopefully this time next week we will see how successful Mel's been at her non-negotiables. Are you doubting yourself whether you'll stick to them? Slightly, if I'm being honest. Yeah, which I I appreciate you are. But do you think that's a good way to start this? No. So what are we going to do about that? I'm going to stick to them this week. (laughs) Yeah. Not for me. For who? For me. Yeah. Alright. Um, last one, and I have to ask this because I think it's been amazing the support that you have been receiving outside of here, but do you feel good about all the support that you have outside of here and how many people are behind you to see you succeed, or are you finding it hard to cope with knowing that that many people like you and want to see you succeed? Probably the second one. What is it about that? Is it the fact that you don't think people would like you? <laughs> oh, maybe. Um, yeah. You know, I don't know. It's just hard. Hard to what? Imagine that? Hard to picture it? Hard to... Well, it, everyone's been so nice and I just feel like I'm disappointing other people as well as myself, so... Okay, but do you think that they're behind you regardless? Or do you think they're all going to jump ship because you had a crappy week? <laughs> no. And not like you anymore? No, I don't think that's the case. I think everyone's behind me, which I probably have a hard time dealing with that. Okay, so who are you disappointing then if you know they're going to be behind you regardless? No one. Yeah. Except for myself. Exactly. Now, are you okay with that or not? Are you okay with disappointing yourself? No. You sure? Yes. Okay, then the only person you have to worry about is who? Myself. Alright, so now you know that everybody out there is supporting you regardless. You know that you've got a lot of people who care about you and think you're great. So can you get over staying in, I'm fine, and disappointed, and, you know, we've got our three non-negotiables this week, and that's all we've got to concentrate on. Nothing else. Alright. And um, I appreciate you for being so honest, Mel, and I know it's not an easy process to go through, but I'm sure there's a lot of other people out there that can identify with, you know, patterns and and getting stuck and and focusing, I guess, on, you know, how shit they feel (laughs) rather than, you know, how do they want to feel and what things can they put in place to achieve that, even if they don't think it's possible, you know, which we've talked about today. So, yeah. yeah, are you feeling good about moving forward this week? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. All right, good. All right, Melly. Well, we believe in you and I believe in you, and I'm looking forward to seeing you, you know, kick some of these things, and regardless of what emotions are going on, just keep moving forward. All right, Mel? Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.